Hello, this is Beeler, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Last time, well, we discovered something weird about um, Inquisitor Gulame. So, let's see if we can discover his true identity. In case you didn't watch last episode, we discovered that, well, apparently the one that's been talking all shit about us is a is um an imposter. Since Lord Trilavon has already turned against us, I fear that this encycl encyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to bribe testimony that supports our claim... Yes, mayhap that is the only way left to us. Confront Sir Joliet with the evidence in the new discovery and see if it helps him to recall the truth of that night. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. So, we have to go up to the infirmary, talk to the guy whose story didn't make any sense. Uh, which, oddly, I didn't even notice the first time. Or the second time, really. Oh, you have returned. Is there something else you want to ask? Um, does this look familiar? The envelope contains what appears to be an official papal appointment to the position of Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is an, is an imposter. Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He's a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that is all a lie? If you are so certain that your ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir Prunella. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here. But I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Well, that might be your downfall, sir. I should go talk to him later, in case we just discover, you know, his sister. Hello, Prunella. You. I, I do not believe I know you, madam. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Here, I got this thing for you. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not of it. Not at all. What? Do you doubt my words? Away with you. I will suffer your slander no more. Huh? Well, I guess we have to doubt her. You know, don't you? Fury, take me. I pray this day would come. When Sir Joliet gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Dravinian abominations lashed out at him. Nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. What came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He he knew things about me, about my family. Secrets I had never told another. He said that if I kept his confident, confidants, Sir Joliet and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes marked him as an Inquisitor, but I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Joliet to the infirmary, and on his first night wiped from front, Inquisitor Gulliam was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good moral standing seized while in possession of draconian rosaries as I feared. He was condemning the innocents to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillamont, wanted to put an end to this madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats. So I did nothing, until Lord Francel was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of White Burn Front. So I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire Locks. So I hoped they were discovering considered evidence of a conspiracy in his house Talonar, thus exonerating Lord Francel and casting doubt on the other recent trials. That is the entire truth, I swear. Hello and forgive me for not acting sooner. Oh, it's your fault that all this shit's going on. Okay. Well then, what do you have to say for yourself? Not really, what do you have to say? Is that in a building or is that outside town? It looks like it's outside town. Well, we'll find out. <clears throat> so, we found out that someone was a, well, stupid. A, Believe there was a hypocrite, apparently. Was he watching her all the time? Snow mound! Suspicious box. Oh yes, carrying this isn't gonna... 
show any suspicion whatsoever. Do do do. Carrying a box of draconian rosaries into a town where they exterminate heathens, and they're gonna think I'm a heretic. Do 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 do. <laughs> I didn't even try to actually match the tones in case anyone was wondering. But I'm guessing we have to go up to the third floor of Not That Where. So... Up, up, up we go. Looks like they're talking about... Fantasia. Alright, Trillamont. I have something for you. It will convince you that I am not a heretic. It's heretical items. Why do you persist in this fault? I will not grant you three access to this new individual. Do not make me repeat myself. And I have this and this. What did that one say? The brand of an unbeliever, an enemy of the Holy See. This had better be very good explanation for why you're carrying these rosaries. Where did you find this papal encyclical? Furry, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Therefore, I have a certain heard such an unbelievable hit. As evidence in your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friend's view, and for that I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first, I must need beg your assistance. Help me on my nights bring this infernal imposter to justice. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. The heretic Among Us. Lord Drummond requires your assistance in bringing the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Gulliam to justice. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hell's take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for snow cloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded heretic. If we hurry, there may still be time to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength, Wheeler. Together, let us put an end to this impostor's heresy once and for all. Snow cloak, eh? That is a place we have not been to yet. So, let's go this way. Hey, Alpha and I, guess what? Guess what? Oh. Okay, you don't care. You don't care that I've just basically gained us access to the same visual, do ya? Yeah, they're talking about the aura. I considered switching one of my characters to an aura, but, well, it just doesn't seem right. I had enough trouble when I changed my main character to be, um, like, my OC for ponies. It didn't last more than a month. But... There's a card person down here? Weird. But anyways, Snowcloak is over here, and as usual, there are crocs here. Why there are crocs here, I don't know. But, let's see if we can avoid them. Hello, House Durandarn. I guess this is another one of those places with two entrances. Good to have you with us, Miss. When Lord Drillamon arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we'll need to use force. Are you prepared for that eventuality? Um, who does he got over there? Is that a woman? That is, isn't it? I can't really tell. Yes, it is. She's got my hairstyle. Let's go in! I'm gonna have to dismiss Tyler McFluff, but aren't I? Yes, yes, I know, I know. Withdraw. Yes. So let's condemn this Inquisitor. It's time for his trial. You ain't tremble so, my child. Archer shall enjoy everlasting peace in Helen's Hall, only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you, I have never questioned the teachings of Helen. Inquisitor, release it may and come with us. My Lord Drillamont, what's the meaning of this interruption? You're aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? 
Silence, villain! I name thee heretic, murderer and inquisitor Gulam, and countless innocents. You are traitor to Ishgard to your own kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Well, what are you saying? Oh, ah, uh, grave allegation indeed. But you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Dridamont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. Uh-oh. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's grave crusade? You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence? Ha! Huh. All are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Dridamont, then come. Let's see how Ishgardian steel fares against Dravanian Fang and Claw. Are you a dragon? Now we get to harm the Inquisitor. All is right in the world. And Dridamont will tank for us. Uh, I do believe ads come at some point soon. Like when he uses rotten meat, maybe. Oh. Oh. Right, I remember this battle. We really actually need to go help them with the ads because we need them. Because I didn't know. Oh, there's another one down there. Well, it looks like that one's almost dead, so. I don't know if they're going to live. I'm guessing they did. Yeah, I remember this was another battle I had a lot of trouble with. Just because of the ads. Okay, we're back to Lord Drillamont. I want to say there's more coming. It is only when he used that rod meat ability. Do you see, heretic? You and your allies are no match for the might of Ishgard. How wrong you are, Ishgardian. I have been blessed with power far beyond your ken. Come, my brothers, grant me strength to smite our enemies. Um, sorry. Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is kind of why we needed them. I am reborn! And he is going to be paying the ass. Stand your ground! Tis but an illusion! Are you sure? I'm just scanning around to make sure there aren't any more ads. Because, yeah, I remember having trouble with this part. Yep, there's an ad. Dragon stands before you, yet still you do not flee. Yeah, and we definitely need this guy, because he's a healer. No, I don't want to... I want to get the wyvern. God, where's my health? Yeah, you can help me with the wyvern. This is not going as well as I would have liked it to. Yeah, I'm just making a joke that I'm a terrible tank. Oh, he's almost dead. So are we for that matter. Three, two, one. And dead. That's where I kill this guy too. Nice that all the other houses came to help us. I mean, what? My glamour's dispelled. Your plan lies in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. <coughs> I 
actually, I really did have to cough. Haha, <laughs> you may not recall the many Ishgarians I have sent, but the family of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My, my only regret is that you yet live. Hmm. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons from within the Sanvigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, Whiteburn Front shall fall. Judge, jury, and executioner. Defiant to the last, leave the body for the crows. His elk deserves not better. Can I lose the body, though? Bealer, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should never have asked to intervene in this guardian affairs of state. Uh, yeah, we are kind of already involved, so. Best assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It's past time that you were reunited, reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me at White from Front and bring your associates. Okay. So it looks like we're finally, finally going to get into Stone Vigil. Which is the next dungeon, by the way. So let's run. And my cat's on the back of my chair again. Hey doofus, quit that. My cat's the only one I like to talk to here. But you know what? We won't have to come back this way for a very long time. So I'm just going to run up here to get this. A little bit of experience. That up there is Behemoth's Dominion. If Behemoth will spawn somewhere around, well, I think where that card is on the map. And he will run up there after the first part of the fate. There's actually two fates for him. And... So we return to Redbrim Front, a hero. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna talk to what that guy... Talk to that soldier that's injured. Let's see what he has to say. I'm sure, sure he has something fun to say. Hopefully it doesn't involve, um, Triple Triad. But it probably does. Small talk. Uh, uh, thank you for your concern, but these are no battle wounds. I merely slipped and fell on my backside, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Alpha Nod, I have good news. Where have you been, Veeler? Hmm? The False Inquisitor has been slain, has he? Yes, well, he, he is was a tale always likely to end in bloodshed. Do you have overcome the days in a long line of unfortunate impediments? I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. In pursuit of the past, Alphanon is eager to enter the Stone Vigil. Is it because you're half-naked? As I am sure you will agree, it is past time we entered the Stone Vigil. Pay Lord Drillman a visit and remind him of his obligation to us. Sid and I will follow Anon. Oh, looks like we just opened up a ton of quests here, too. Living on the edge. Concerned for a comrade who has taken a tumble off of a snow-covered cliff. You're that Vealer, aren't you? Well met, well met. Give us a hand. One of the dreams has fallen clean over the cliff. He lives, praise the fairy. We could tell that much from the top. A brother and I stayed behind on the cliff and awaits a coil of rope. See here, can you go keep for, can you go to the keep for the rope and deliver it thither and for the infirmary? Okay. Well, I have more important things to do than save your injured dragoon. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You guys have shunned me long enough. I'm going to start shunning you. I am the hero today. We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for us, the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Gullion would still be among us, free to prey upon the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand, but you must understand, it seemed too much to hope that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn still live, to say nothing of Master Garland. 
Never have I been happier to be proven wrong. Well, it's gratifying to know that someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further objections, we would appreciate if you would permit us to enter the stone vigil and retrieve our airship. Yes, yes, of course. It's the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering that outpost is the least of your concerns, I fear. You speak of the Dravanians and now hold the ruin. In part, yes. I should explain. Shortly after you first arrived, I had my men scour the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the stone vigil in the days following the calamity. As far as we have been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any assurances that it has not been removed in the intervening years. For far too long, the ruin served as a Dravanian foothold in Coerthus, from which they have struck out at us with depressing regularity. Though we push them back behind the walls, we have as yet been unable to drive them out, and I cannot say when the situation will change. Or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Jerlemont, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail. In any event, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without its guardian aid. Yeah, it won't be the first time I've drawn it in there alone. Let's see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir Nathion of your impending visit. May Halon guide you, Scions. Okay. Well, I still have several minutes on this video, and as usual, the dungeon will be separate from the main video. Where are these, are these quest givers upstairs? But, um, so after this episode, I, Stone Vigil should be posted. Not to, it'll either be today or the day after, which would be tomorrow. Of course it'd be tomorrow, you dumbass. Sorry. <laughs> um, but, sorry, this is probably like three weeks in the past for me now. Jeez, what are you doing all the way up here, you crazy guy? Tolls for us. Sir Leotra has heard of your growing repute and wishes to engage you. No, I, I, you cannot have my hand in there, sir. Long has this spell marked at the time at our keep. As you can see, it was ill used by dragons and has been silent since. Others of this keep have not but praise for your work adventure. I wonder if you are the ideal confederate for this enterprise. Will you assist me in repairing the bell? We need a goodly amount of metal, and arms damage in battle are in plentiful supply, yet it will not do for one dragoon to ask another for his arms. Will you collect them and take them around to attack the smith? Okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of, um, arms. Are there any in here? Before I go all the way back down, let's have to go to the top. Hi, Bell. That's kind of a sorry looking bell. Okay. I can, eh. Actually, I, had to, I opened my one eye so I could actually see if I was running and shit. Oh, I could have just gone down the stairs, couldn't I? Oh. Hello, Ignan Motel. Ha, repairs for to finally move forward. Metal hither, metal tither. Take it, take it away and let the anvil ring. And guessing there's one more in here somewhere. Maybe up here. Hello, Benedict. You want what? Oh, to repair the bell, I cannot well recall its appeal. I was still falling off chocobos when the dragon cleft it thus. Here, what will this do? Okay. Got all the ones in here. Looks like there's a couple to the north. But, I'm just going to do the side quest just to pad out the episode a little bit. No, it's not really padding if I'm keeping it the same length, but you know what I mean. What you want? Days of Brandywine and Behemoth. Do you have anything I want? No. It's an ill night for patrols. In this blizzard, we had contact via Link Pearl. One of the parties has managed to blunder into the Behemoth's Dominion, of all places. I take back what I said. 
Cold and fatigue has robbed them of their mobility. I heard it said you were a snow wolf, feeling the cold far less than other women. If you can get the Brandywine to the control, you will save lives tonight. One more thing, adventurer. Do not presume to revoke the behemoth to battle. You will fail, and you will die. Rescue the dragoon. That is your task to say, and not more. He's not kidding. <laughs> Honest men make the best conspirators, and Sir Damer would seek your help with his own transformation. Adventure, a word. I hear of you from Sir Fed Fedex and another. Though they have not, uh, they know not of my special interest. Um, I, and s no, I have an axe. I'll use it. You're a woman dressed in clement. Help me free my brother from the dungeon. I'm. Well, what? My brother was condemned to hard labor for desertion, but the Holy See now declares desertion to be heresy, and his life is forfeit. They speak falsely with their reasoning. I no longer have faith that they are one with alone. Lawrence is doubly innocent, for he never deserted. He left his post, yes, but to treat with an old and traitor for medicine that saved his betrothed life. Much have I given Ithaca and willingly that they shall not take my brother, and they shall make not take the truth. That ex alone guards him. He is a great one for a nap, especially when he's been kept at the card table all night. I have seen you move like a shadow. Slip in and take his key. Give the dungeon key to Lawrence and wish him the speed of the fury. Tell him I have cash supplies in a disguise in the usual place. Meanwhile, I shall prepare a distraction and cover all our tracks. We shall speak later. Woohoo! Jailbreak! Oh, wow. I have enough ninja dots over here. There's the rope. So... Yeah. Anyways, I did hit level 41 between episodes. I did the leave, and then I got the leave, um, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking? Challenge log. Sir Bennett checks he's a man with a sizable chip upon his shoulder, and such men are often ready to spend handsomely. Adventure, would you like to assist the dragon slayer? I put a bolt through a dragon while manning the ballista overlooking the gorges. I saw the stuff throws, and then it plunge. But nobody will believe me. I had not the time to collect the trophy before I was relieved, and they will not credit what they do not see. Perkins is out there at the bottom of the gorge, just waiting to be claimed. I hear you can find anything, and I need a dragon bone to show the others. Is that really what you're, you need it for? Well, we need to try to get rid of some of these many, many things. Physician, find yourself. Head Chirurgeon asked today and would have you escort the most valuable prize from Camp Dragonhead. As you may have noticed, this area is much troubled by many a wild and savage creature. This is, of course, in addition to dragons, which are all the enemy that Ishgard acknowledges, by and large. This attacks the infirmary beyond all natural limits, and the healers show signs of becoming patients. After some doing, I have managed to secure a Chirurgeon from Camp Dragonhead from the reluctance they evinced at the transfer, and he, ha he must have great promise. I would be easier in my mind if you would escort him here. I oh, know, please don't tell me it's an escort mission. I didn't like the escort missions. They're all made of escorts and fail. Oh, well, let's go. S oh, you got one too? Ice, ice daily? Remember how does it force him? has a job that involves travel. I am part of the expedition to Snowcloak. Know that. Know you that great ice wall that smells like a braggot's hair? There's much danger in those parts, and so twas that my group took on cell swords. However, affrighted by the creatures that stalked the wilderness, they abandoned their post and fled. Now what manner of craveness is this? It beggars all belief. You leave no stone unturned to complete your mission, they say. What say you? Will you guard the expedition? We are in sore need of a sword arm. You'll know more from Warwick at Snowcloak. Be well, adventurer. Keep my people safe. Okay. Looks like all we gotta do is go into the jail. And do do do. Got your key. Oh, look, he's even dozing. Nope, don't notice us feeling you in this giant metal armor. And. Oh, right, he's over here. Hey, Lawrence. You, I am glad to see you again. To bid you thanks for saving my beloved's life. Did you bring news of her today? No, but I got this. Bert. I thought he had forsworn me, for he had came not once to see me. I cursed him in my eye, but his cruelness was kindness after all. 
I know that the hiding place he speaks. Tell him I shall miss him and to preserve himself from harm. But I swear to return to fetch away my lady. Okay, we've done that. And, well, I guess since we're still. Oh, there's a weapon here. We need one more weapon? Where the hell is it? I don't see it on my map. Oh, it's. Is that over there? Is it up there? No, oh, that's a dragon. Where is the last weapon? Well, let's tell Dame Bird and get our damn experience. Look, Slumber, I am telling you of how Jacko ate the cook's cat. Success? Good. When? Hour of the Wolf. I'll lose my work then. He must never return. I left him instructions. He shall send for her and I will see she is protected and unpursued. There is only death for him here. The beast tore this poor animal to shreds. What shame to lose a good ratter. To the greenwood, desert, or the sea. Anywhere but here. Likely I shall never see him again, but at least he lives. And thanks to you. Remember that you spent the last, the past spell seeking Charmaine's rosary. It's in your pocket. Be seen with her soon. Um, okay. So... I apparently need one more weapon, and I don't know where it is. But let's go get that dragon bone. We know where that is. And it's not over this wall. You can't jump over the wall. We can, however, jump over this. And then... Yeah. Ow. Okay, good thing there's nothing else down here. No! No, it is bones. Kind of, maybe? Kind of looks like it's still got skin on it. White dragon, maybe? I don't know. It's a dragon! I'm going to name it A! If anyone knows what reference that is, damn you're old. Just like me. Is there I think I've been using that reference since high school, which I got out of in 2002. But let's go turn our dragon bone in. Let's not go that way again. Hello, NPC, I said we would never see again. We'll never see you again. Okay, guy, we got your thing. Give us money. Did you get my dragon bone? That was my first dragon, you know. It's special. I I know how it is. Actually, no, I don't know how it is. It, oh, the first time is always special. Giant bone of the Dravanian. Very descriptive game. Yes, yes, dragon bone. Who's spinning yarns now, huh? By the fury. Burnger, you dragon sailor, bust in the eyes of Helene. I have dreamed of this. Do you realize that I shall be commended by the Archbishop himself? Mm, probably. But anyways, I think we passed this out long enough. And we will meet in the side of the Stone Vigil in the next steps. No, actually, we need to still go unlock that Stone Vigil. We haven't done that yet. So, sorry. False alarm. So let's go up to the Stone Vigil. And then... And then I will announce that next time we'll meet in the Stone Vigil. I'm sorry, I derp sometimes. You may not have noticed. <laughs> hmm. What is the Vigil's level cap anyways? Hello, Nathalan. Hail, Violer, Lord Drillamon has appraised me of the situation. You may enter the same vigil whensoever you will. Duty Finder has been updated. The stone vigil is now accessible. So, in the next episode, we shall, well, probably be out here for a second, but I'm going to try to gather a group for um, stone vigil, and, well, we'll see what happens from there. Whether I can or can't, but I know people are on, so... 
I may have a chance. Anyways, this has been Vialir. I hope you enjoyed and have fun.